Hey kids and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about these leveling base systems you can buy. So it's for things like a tripod that doesn't have a level base or it comes with one already that's not really suitable for video. And as long as you have a quarter or a three eighths thread on your tripod, you can convert something like this, it's a more travel friendly, into something like this. So we'll do an unboxing first and then we'll talk about my use case scenario and why it might be handy for you as well. All right, let's do it. Now, I'll make this quick because I hate unboxing vids. Uh, I just wanted to show the product pretty much. Now, it comes in this beautiful pouch and I don't know why they gave me that because I'll never see it again. Now, I was very impressed with how smooth and fluidy it is. Very nice to use. And once you tighten that, that can take quite a lot of weight, it's not going anywhere. I noticed um, Manfrotto itself makes a product like this, which is about 50 bucks more, but this is the one that my shop had. Now, if I pair it up with my trusty old Manfrotto fluid head, it looks used and banged up, but it works perfectly well. That's what I tell all the ladies. Fasten it with the extra screws and it doesn't look awkward at all. Not like a middle-aged man wearing a Back to the Future t-shirt. All right, welcome back. And thanks for joining me, by the way. Okay, so I wanted to convert one of my favorite light travel style tripods, the KNF. Um, it's more like a photo tripod. I wanted to convert this into a filming tripod. And this is my favorite wedding and event setup from Manfrotto. I'll put all the links and descriptions down below to keep this video short. Now, the thing I like about this is, and why it's suitable for events, at least the base, is because you can set it to a, like a medium height and then uh, adjust the center column. So for events, you really need that. And in fact, on a studio shoot last week, I was using the big tripod, like what I'm filming on now, and we were changing models and I'll be like, hang on a sec, and I'll adjust each leg you know, individually, which is a pain in the ass. Um, and it's also a pain in the ass, and I'll just take this ball head off. If you do not have a leveling system if you don't have a level system, you're gonna to have to be adjusting your legs to get it right, obviously. And this is good for photos, but if you try to use a ball head or something similar, like those split level where they split the tilt and pan or the trigger ones, they're not good for continuous shooting. Like even this has a kind of a smooth pan, but the ball, if I was trying to adjust a shot for say vowels, but when I'm zooming in, then I just wanna adjust the height so the head is perfect. It's just, you'll set it and then it'll dip. You'll set it and then it'll dip a little bit and it's a pain in the ass. And I remember thinking in a wedding that, okay, this is the last time because I brought it. This is the last time I'm gonna use that for a wedding. And I was thinking, how can I convert this into that and save a few hundred bucks, like about 400 bucks actually. Right, so if you add up all the costs of converting the KNF tripod using the Leo Photo leveling system and you compare it to the Manfrotto kit, I guess it's not that much cheaper. But then again, I had the extra fluid head lying around, so it's still relevant to me, and I guess you can still save a couple hundred bucks there. Okay, so I'm happy with the tripod. It's light and it's got the center column. But once I remove the ball head, then it no longer has a leveling system. So that's why I bought this Leo Photo. Now it's not cheap. In Australia, it's about 145 bucks, but it's still cheaper for me than to go and buy a whole system like this, which I think is still around seven, 800 bucks. So it made sense for me. Um, so it could probably still be a good use case for you if you have some light tripods lying around, or if you wanted to be a cheapo and buy a more travel tripod, as long as it has the thread, you can buy the base. So you just attach it securely, uh, tighten the three screws that come with it, and you pop it on top, and I have my knockoff. Well, it's not really knockoff. It's just the, the bottom bit that is. Manfrotto video system. So that is good for continuous shooting. You can make little adjustments. And what I do when I'm filming weddings is just get my shot and I lightly, you know, tighten that off, close that off. Impossible with a ball head. Ball head's good for like setting up one shot, hitting record, or obviously for photo. And I think that's basically it. So now I've converted my KNF tripod, one of my favorite tripods, into a very friendly, see that's very quick to set up, deploy, 
and then get my continuous shots. And I think that's about it. I can talk about the Manfrotto quickly. So the Manfrotto, the reason why this is good is it's all in one. It's got the center column here. This isn't uh, new by any means. It's just my favorite video system. And it's got a built-in leveling base via the twisty screw thing down the bottom there on the center column. Okay, I reckon that's it. Good for me. So now I'm good for two tri- now. So there we have it. Now I have two similar video tripods and I've saved about 400 bucks, I think. The only difference is you adjust the leveling here on this one, it's very smooth and that feels fluidy as well. And obviously on the Manfrotto, the leveling adjustments at the base of the center column. And that is pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. All right, see ya.